These guys are looking forward to getting back on their home track. Following last week's flooding, the turf at Forbury Park Raceway is bouncing back rapidly. And that's despite some of the most severe damage staff have seen in recent years. Talking to some of the people that have been around this track for 40, you know, 45 years and that, this would be the worst uh, water damage that we've had in that time. We have had the odd time the water levels come up, but not to this extent, and certainly not the damage to the track being rutted out um, like it was. But traces of the extensive flood damage are now almost non-existent, with the ground back up to scratch. Ayub says despite last week's challenging conditions, everything's aligned to ensure repairs went without a hitch. The weather, believe it or not, was on our side. Uh, I couldn't believe the other day when I looked out there and we had our water tanker watering the track as we were repairing it because the track managers were saying it was getting too dry for them. So that's just amazing when we were in flood a few days before. Although the track's now clear to use, this week's meet is being transferred to Gore. And Ayub says while it's costly to move a meeting, there's a silver lining for several trainers. The Southland guys probably think it's fantastic because they're close to home and there's a lot more horses that came out. We had 157 nominations for the meeting, which is very high, and a lot of them came from the Southland region. With another week up their sleeves, there's time for a few final beautifying touches. Ahead of the horses, getting back on track. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.